Hi, students. Today we are learning reflection of the light of light at curved surfaces. At curved surfaces. So, what are the curved surfaces? So for example, if you can take a sphere, the sphere part, if it is coated outside, that means this particular part is the one reflecting surface you can say. Or else, if the paint is coated inside like this, so this particular part is one reflecting surface you can say. So here the curved reflecting surfaces are taken from a symmetrical curved shapes like a sphere or cylinder you can say. So this particular part whichever is coated outside the reflecting side is bulged inside. So this is called concave mirror and if the Reflecting surfaces bulging outside. This is a reflecting surface. This is called convex mirror, you can say. And this concave mirror also called as a convergent. Convergent mirror. And this convex also called as a divergent mirror, you can say. So these two are the curved surfaces mirrors which are taken from the symmetrical shapes like a cylinder or sphere you can say this is a convergent and it is a divergent according to this the central part whichever it is there pole through that whatever the line passes is nothing but called as a principal axis this is the p the geometrical center of these curved surfaces are always be called as a pole of the mirror. So this geometrical center and through which that line passes, any line it cannot be deviated. And the line whichever is incident on that like this one and they will be reflecting and may meet at a point this is called principal focus after reflecting the light rays are meeting this point that is called principal focus in case of this divergent mirror so what happened this will be reflect like this and this will be reflect like this if these two are going to be extended then these are meeting at this particular point this is called a principal focus you can say and uh, this curved surfaces whichever can be extended and to draw the complete sphere and it may be get that one is called the C center of curvature and here also you can take that one uh, it is maybe a find it is C the center of curvature you can say either sides you will get so C also can be here this is about the a convergent and the divergent it diverges the light rays it converges the light rays so here in this concave mirror if the light rays can be passed through the it is a pole and it is the F the light ray which passes parallel to the principal axis, the line which passes through the pole is nothing but the principal axis. And this light ray after reflecting it has to be passed through the F. When the light ray like this one, if it is a concave and if the light ray is there, if it is the focus, and if the light ray can be coming through the focus, then after the touching incidenting on the reflecting surface, it becomes parallel to the principal axis. 
and from the sea whichever the line it can be drawn it is always be normal to the surface anywhere it can be touched so the line which can be passes through the sea it can be cannot be deviated so like this if the principal axis like this on p principal axis is going if the light ray can be meeting at this point and it can be reflecting this one so by behaving like this normal you can say the principal axis it is the incident angle it is the reflecting angle you can say so this is the rules to be followed while drawing the the lines the light rays incidenting on the the curved surfaces for example as we have to mention that it is the concave mirror reflecting surface it is the pole center of the curved surface and if it is the f you can say and it is the c then here if you can draw a line parallel to the principal axis and incident on the concave mirror then after reflecting what happen it passes through the f and uh, the line which joins the c and the incident point let us say it is it is a you can say now the distance between the pole and the focus is called the focal length and the distance between p to c is nothing but that is radius of curvature you can say it is the radius of curvature because p to f is a focal length p to c is the radius of curvature because it is joining the pole and as well as the center of curvature c right now what do you want to prove here it is the incident ray and this is the incident angle you can say and it is a reflected ray this angle is called the reflected angle you can say now in this way this triangle afc if you can observe afc so as per the loss of the reflection this i is equal to r angle of incident i is equal to angle of reflection r is there and this line particularly this is oa is the incident line and uh, ray and after reflecting what happen it is meeting af but ac is the normal drawn the normal divides this is a, as a bisecting angle so now here you see this angle is also called i you can say when this i and r are equal therefore the side af and fc might be equal because they are facing equal angles therefore the side af is equal to this fc you can say but when this ap the distance between the ap when the light ray light ray oa is very close very close to the principal axis principal axis then then a coincides coincides with p therefore what happen af becomes pf so af is nothing but pf you can say so from p to c if you can write pf plus fc you can write but af is nothing but pf pf is nothing but fc therefore pc is equal to pf plus pf you can write this pf plus fc this both are equal therefore when this coming closer this a is going to be coincides with the p therefore what happens 
This PC is nothing but radius of curvature. PF is nothing but focal length. PF is nothing but focal length. Therefore, radius of curvature is nothing but double to the focal length, you can say. So, in this way, we can prove that when the radius of curvature of any curved surface, any concave mirror or convex mirror, so you can take like that radius of curvature is double to the focal length. Now, particularly in this one, so we have to be discuss about the sign convention. So, the sign convention is very, very important. What did it give sign convention? The sign convention always gives that one the direction or the how the plus and the minus can be adopted for the values. So, what are the values we can take? When the concave or convex mirror, if you can take, it is what? Convex mirror, like this one. So, when the incident ray is parallel like this one, incident ray is parallel like this one. So, what happened? Here it is reflecting surface. This is F, you can say. It is a focal length. This is F. And here, after reflecting, it goes like this one. And the incident ray, the reflecting ray can be extended. And that maybe forms the image on the principal axis focus here itself. You see, the first case is nothing but all the distances, distances are measured, measured from pole. Every distance in this, the geometrical optics or the ray optics you can say, or the light rays in this curved surfaces, Everything is measured from the pole only. Right. It is first rule. The rule 2 is what? All the distances, all the distances are in the direction of, in the direction of incident ray incident rays are taken as positive. So, how this are, this is the incident ray. From the distances are taken from the pole. Pole to P. F, PF is what focal length. The focal length we are taking from the pole P, but it is opposite to the direction of the incident ray. In case of concave mirror, so, concave mirror, mirror, the PF value, F is negative. But in case of convex, you see, incident ray this one, and the distances are measured from the pole, P to F is taken as a positive. Why positive? Because in the direction of the incident ray only, we are taking that distance. Therefore, in case of convex, mirror, the F value is positive, you can say. This is, if it is in the direction of the incident ray taken as the positive or opposite to the incident ray direction are taken as the negative, you can say. All the distances are in the direction of the incident rays are taken as a positive. Here in this convex mirror, it is taken as a positive. But the third case is what in case of this one or the distances distances taken opposite to opposite to incident ray incident ray are negative so like this this example we have taken this one so, in case of concave mirror, mirror, so F is negative, you can say. Now, the fourth one, all real images are, are positive. Virtual images are 
taken as a negative virtual images are negative but the last and final one when you are taking the height of the object here above the surface and if it is a below the surface it is taken this is h i below the h of the object you can say so it is above the principal axis all the heights of objects oblique images above the principal axis principal axis are positive and below the principal axis are negative principal axis are negative see here whichever the object is taken above the principal axis and the images the distances are taken the below the principal axis are negative above the principal axis are positive you see all distances are measured from the pole only compulsory every distance should be measured from the pole then all the distances are in the direction of the incident ray are taken as a positive all the distances are taken opposite to this one are negative and all the real images are considered as a positive what are the real images the images which can be caught on the screen are called the real images but the images which cannot be caught on the screen but only viewed that is through the convex mirror that are called virtual images you can say only we can see but we cannot catch the image so for example the rear view mirror for the vehicles we can able to see the larger vehicle in the rear view mirror but in case of concave mirror so that image cannot be seen but it can be magnified the image so the dentist able to see that uh, the tooth decay so by the or eye specialist also you can see that one through the concave mirror only so convex mirrors are used as a rear view mirror and concave mirrors are used as a the reflecting surfaces are used in the headlights of the the cars and the, all the vehicles you can say these are all the sign convention and this is the basic uh, uh, factors about the the reflection of the light at the curved surfaces